Hi, how are you? My name is Elipteria and I am an app developer. Yes, I know my name is a little bit difficult to be pronunciated, but we are going to work on that. Anyway, today's video review is going to be about a Kotlin course tutorial for beginners, which is published in freecodecamp.org. All the links will be in the description box, so don't worry about that. And although this video is going to be about Kotlin, um, I would like to inform you that in my channel you can find a list with other courses as well, other reviews, because maybe you're more interested about Git, GitHub, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, or even like Illustrator, Photoshop, and stuff like that. So you could check out this playlist reviewing online tech courses. But now let's go back to Kotlin course. Before we start with this review, I would like to remind you to please like, share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alrighty, let's get started. So, as I've already mentioned, this video is published on freecodecom.org and this means that it's free and there are no ads. You can support the creators just by watching the video and this is enough. And the video is created by Nate Abel. This is his YouTube channel. He seems like a very knowledgeable person. He has a lot of videos about Android Studio and Kotlin and like other subjects as well, like uh, Flutter and you know other really cool stuff that probably every programmer should be familiar with. And I have to be honest, after this video, I will check his other Kotlin videos as this is what I'm interested in, at least currently. But let's go back to this review. Um, some good things are, just like I mentioned, that there are no ads. This guy has like a good accent and a nice pace so you can totally understand him. Um, he's using IntelliJ and not Android Studio, but I guess that's okay. A small negative thing is that the letters sometimes are quite small and maybe they're not very visible. If you're trying to code the same time as he does, this is not very effective and probably you need a second monitor or something like that because otherwise like the letters can be pretty small and yeah and let's quickly see like here like there are a lot of timestamps and these are the things that are covered in this class if you check this class it says that it is three hours but the reality is that it's two hours and 38 seconds so no three hours but two and, and a half hours okay and he covers like the first Kotlin project, Hello World, working with variables, type system, basic control flows and basic Kotlin functions and more things about functions and arrays, um, each list, map, mutable and immutable collections, which is something really important in a Kotlin. And for all of these things, you will find like small examples and good explanations. It has uh, like Varag parameters, which is something that I, I haven't seen in previous Kotlin tutorials that I've reviewed and like arguments, more things about arguments and values, things about class and init block and stuff like that. Now here in the class, um, it's something that I wanted to mention is that sometimes we see things and if you're a programmer with experience you can very easily understand what is a class or not very easily because it's not something easy but pretty much you can understand what a class is if you're not a developer if you're not a programmer or how you want to call yourself then these things are a bit difficult so if the other person tells you only the technical stuff and you don't know why you have to use a class or why you have to use inheritance and stuff like that, then there is no point in knowing the technical stuff if you don't know like why you have to use those things. And I feel that in general this course, because it's like quite small in duration, you don't get this in-depth explanation. You will get all the technical stuff, like how to create a class, but not the why. Okay, let's continue a little bit more. 
so yeah you have like class properties primary constructors secondary constructors working with multiple init blocks default property values and class uh, methods interfaces abstract classes now and i have to say here for example in abstract classes he had some good examples of how to use abstract classes private classes and stuff like that but again the first point which was about classes there was no an in-depth explanation and then like implementing an interface overriding methods default interface methods interface properties inheritance objects expression companion objects and object declaration a new sealed in data classes and extension functions and properties higher order functions using the kotlin standard library and data classes all those things are good and for all of these things you will find like nice small examples and there is always like a starting point that you will get the basic things and then uh, the instructor will add more things and you will conclude in something else in a more kotlin way let's say which is like really nice my own like suggestion would be for the instructor to go a little bit more in depth as why the other person has to use these kind of things and not only like the technical stuff but other than that like it's it's really okay and it's a really nice tutorial with a nice structure and you will get everything from the start to the beginning um another thing is that obviously because this is a tutorial on youtube you will have only like this small exercises and not big exercises um, or something that you will have to code on your own as a quiz or an extra project you won't have like things to show a little bit later in your portfolio so yeah you won't get those things but it is a free course it's only two and a half hours so i think that it's more suitable for someone that wants to do a good recap in kotlin rather than like so much editorial for beginners and when we say beginners i think that you have to specify is this a beginner course for someone who already knows how to code or this is something like for absolutely beginners who have like no idea about coding and this course uh like it, for me it's not for total beginners you have to know some knowledge before you start doing these things and especially you have to know some knowledge in um, object-oriented programming as kotlin is so if you're coming from uh let's say html CSS, and javascript then you will have some troubles like understanding as i said earlier uh classes interfaces and stuff like that so yeah that was my review for this course if you're interested in kotlin you could check it out and also you can check out um, the instructor's channel it's always nice to give some credit and i think that this guy is really knowledgeable and he's know what he's talking about that was it guys i hope that you enjoyed it, this video and if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe with your coding friends stay home stay healthy and see you really soon bye